If you've been dreaming of owning a Meadow Creek BBQ 42, you may not realize what all it can do. This grill was originally built to simplify grilling bone-in chicken, but the double-sided pivoting grate holds a variety of other cuts too. The optional flat grate is perfect for grilling thinner cuts of meat with the charcoal pan raised. The optional griddle is excellent for frying pancakes, bacon, and fajitas with a wood-fired flavor. Some people are even using this grill with the optional flat grate and 10-inch high lid to cook briskets and pork butts with the meat offset from the fire. In this video, I'm smoking six racks of baby back pork ribs in the BBQ42 directly over the fire. To get started, prep and season the ribs with Meadow Creek brisket rub. Fire the grill with 20 pounds of charcoal briquettes. With the lid and bottom vents open, mound the charcoal in the center of the ash pan and light half of the coals with a propane torch. Mix the coals and spread them evenly with a hoe or shovel. Toss in several chunks of smoking wood. Set the flat grate onto the grill. I'm using the optional flat grate here so I can handle each rack of ribs individually. Close the lid and top vents and adjust the bottom vents to one half inch open. After 15 minutes, check the temperature and adjust the bottom vents as needed to stabilize the temperature at roughly 275 degrees Fahrenheit. Arrange the ribs on the grate meat side up and immediately close the lid. You don't want to give the fire too much air. Check on them every 15 to 20 minutes to make sure the bottom sides don't burn. After one hour, flip them meat side down to keep them from burning on the bottom before they are done. Close the lid and only open it to check them every 10 to 15 minutes to make sure they are not burning on the side facing the fire. When they have the color you're looking for, flip them back to meat side up, glaze the tops with your favorite barbecue sauce, and close the lid. Remove them from the grill when they are tender or reach 200 degrees between the bones. The entire cook should take two to three hours. This easy method is great for quickly smoking tender and delicious pork ribs with an amazing char-grilled flavor. The meat won't pick up as much smoke as it would on a longer cook, but to compensate for this, you could use more wood or toss in some smoking pellets throughout the cook. You could also experiment with using less charcoal or offsetting the fire by building a fire in one end of the grill and putting the meat on the opposite end for a longer cook time. If you have a collection of grills on your patio, but do not yet own a Meadow Creek chicken flipper, you don't know what you're missing. The BBQ42 is a best seller for good reasons. Its pivoting grate is absolutely perfect for grilling the best bone-in chicken you've ever tasted. And the optional flat grate, griddle, and 10-inch lid open a new world of exciting possibilities. Andrew Yoder says, I have owned six or more of these over the last 20 years and cooked for weddings and banquets. It consistently cranks out top-notch chicken, definitely one of the barbecue world's best kept secrets. Tom Brown says, my wife bought one for me last year I liked it so much I bought two more this year for my catering business. It truly is the best chicken cooker on the market. Freddie Brigham says, I have owned your chicken cooker for about five years and cooked for parties of 400. And I can truly say that I have never burned up a grate full of chicken. This grill makes perfect chicken every time. It is also very well made. So if you'd like to experience what I'm talking about, Go to MeadowCreekBBQ.com slash BBQ42 to learn more about this grill and to find your nearest dealer.